Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. I'm going to try and make this one quick. It's a little late. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on here today. Finally getting a chance here at the recap. So, FNGR, this was the main one. And, you know, man, with all the chaos, I forgot to call Thinkorswim. $130 down the drain, man. $130 down the drain, I'm now remembering See, this is what happens when stuff comes up and you get busy and you get distracted. I lost $137 on ATXI into the open, attempting the gap and go. It's been about eight months since I bought a trade, or maybe over a year since I bought a trade in the very first minute of the open, 9.30. Usually I'll wait 9.31, most of the times 9.32 to give some of those orders that are backed up a chance to go through that way by the time I'm hitting buy there's no lag but you guys know thinker trash right um, unfortunately I bought and there was some lag and I was up 30 if, if, if there was no lag I would, and I, I could have been in and out like I usually would be I would have made 30 cents here so not only did I miss out on about 130 in gains and not ended break even I ended up going red Ladies and gentlemen, that is a $300 turnaround, and it's absolutely terrible. So ATXI, and I learned my lesson. It's been like eight months. I don't know why I thought it would have worked. Hey, Never again. And thank goodness I didn't use any sort of real size. So that's how the day started. ATXI getting in and just seeing some lag. Now, ADTX, not much on that one. BEAT. Uh, we're down $46 and you know, we tried to get some trades on this one for break of the high is 488 We did okay on it could have done better uh, But we gave back profits on this red candle here getting in at 501 coming out at 480 so 20 cent loss we were green uh, $60 and ended up going red 40 so not good BEAT giving back profits not the best one for me because it requ I would say it required that longer hold time. If you could have been in early, you know, 470, 480 and just hold, then you would have really done well. If you were looking to scalp it, the volume wasn't as high. So, you know, you really have to be careful of the areas. Break of five was pretty good. I hesitated. We had two sellers of 30,000 shares, so about 60,000 shares total. You know, the stock... And we can watch some of this stuff. Um, stock, <laughs> the stock breaks out nicely, but I I ended up buying late and I hesitated, and so it was completely my own fault. This is at. Well, I'm looking to be quick. Five thirty-five, ten thirty-five, ten 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 thirty-five. Guys, hit the thumbs up button. By the way, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you're a new viewer, you guys know support the channel. Subscribe. All right, uh, 10.35, so we got to come ahead an hour, more, 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 33, so watch this, all right, watch this right here, this was so disappointing, look at the seller, 32, okay, maybe it was one seller, I thought it was two, okay, it was two, right, there we go. 32,300, 32,375, 98. So here we go. Right here, I was about to buy. And then I said, no, volume is not high enough. It might, you know, the, the, let's say the ask price might move down 97. And it might not be able to break out immediately. I want to be in and I want to see green. I don't I don't want the price to linger once I'm in. So I hesitated. And it was not a good decision. You see that? And I, 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 I you know, I, I, let me not do that because that's not good. But I promise you guys that's what happened, man. I'm not sitting here making anything up. Uh, I wasn't too slow. There was a hesitation. And then I missed it. That's what happened to me right here. Disappointing. If it was a high, if if I would have bought on time and would have had a high fill, it would have been a different story. You can see I didn't put I didn't punch the order through. I didn't put I didn't punch it. I didn't punch it. Didn't punch it. And then the rest of those shares gets evaporated 
either a big order going through or it get canceled and boom I'm automatically too late I'm gonna get filled high filled in at 11 this is not a good trade because I should have been in at 99 selling at 508 515 it does rip to 17 but it ends up being a losing I mean just so disappointing man now that that should have never happened should have been a winning trade of at least five ten cents so uh yeah was I green or maybe maybe I wasn't green I thought I was green on this thing okay yeah I made back I made back the loss and you see this is the thing with day trading you know that that it's it's kind of frustrating sometimes because if if that trade if that trade is a winning trade right if we if we make let's say I made eight cents and I made eighty dollars I was already up seven dollars ninety cents it would have pushed me to being up eighty seven instead I'm red 47 so I have to make back this 47 okay we had a trade in here it starts to hold above the level I'm in it 04 and we're watching for that bigger move there's nine we take it off the table that would have pushed me what was that like a uh, you know like a what was what's the math again 47 uh, was that like a $42 gain you know being up 87 you add 42 you, you know what I'm saying like you, you start to look pretty decent on the uh, on the stock you know I'd be up over a hundred right you know I'm probably up like 125 135 somewhere in that range it's like a it's a huge difference than, than to be down five dollars and then we have we end up having another trade here for break of 10 so I'm in it 08 good fill right there decent fill spreads are, are opening up a little bit though can we keep pushing there's 15 on the ask I'm trying to give it a chance to open up there's 12 by 15 16 but it's not really the bids are not really catching up but it looks like I had a decent fill so I'm in it 8 it looks like we made at least uh, we made at least seven cents, about seven cents. Coming going in at eight. The ass price is at fifteen, sixteen. So we made about seven cents in there. Which is like really good. So I got somehow got filled up against the ass price selling here. What time is this? We can and we can check it. This this is at thirty six. Uh is the recording still going? Yes it is. Let's move that out of the way so we don't have that mistake. Let's check this. This is at 10.36, right? 10.36. Hey, by the way, shout out to Triad, man. Triad had a really good day. I don't know if it's his best day ever, but yeah. So this is the order right here. I'm out at 15. This is a market order, so you know I got lucky with this. I got filled on the ass. Right? I'm selling 1,000 shares as there's a few buyers going through and buying up um, their position. Right, so you know, a couple of people are, are are buying here. So I got a great fill, and you know, it goes to show once again. So I would have potentially been up like 180, 200, if that one simple trade would have went in the right direction. Now here's the loss, and then we'll get to the other stock. I'm in at 501 because I'm thinking we should see a bounce. And I was looking to hold this a little longer for the first one minute candle to make the new high back over 510 and for the retest of 517. Look at the volume here. We just had a five minute pullback here. Did not expect to see another five minute pullback over here. And we're going to end up getting a much bigger pullback. You can see, you know, against the ask, I'm looking decent. And it's going to flush down here. You know, five, and I could have definitely took a couple of, you know what I'm saying, but I'm watching for that one minute candle to make a new high, trying to give it some time. It's going to flush down, and I'm going to say, nope. So watch this. And when I saw it break 98, I wasn't worried. I thought, okay, we can see the breakdown and reclaim, right? And I was willing to give this a chance all the way to 80, what was it 88, I told myself? 10 cents? Uh, a little bit more than 10 cents, but I thought it would, it would have been fair for the one minute pullback to come that low and snap back quickly or was it 92 I don't I don't know something like that but look at this flush hold on there's 96 hold on hold on I'll let it play 96 
82. You can't really do too much about that. And then I'm like, yeah, let me get rid of this trade. I tried to get out on, on the ask at 89 to like not have such a big loss. But I'm going to have to basically mark it out and hit the bids. And yeah. So what a disaster of, of a stock, of a trade. <laughs> Under no circumstance should I have let, allowed this to go down as much as it did. I think 96 I should have been out. So I'll, 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 you know, that one was on me. Okay, moving on to the big boy stock of the day, which was... This, by the way, is the loss that we had. A waste of $137. Should have, I should have never done it. Should have never done it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to pause it where, I, where I'm going to hit the buy button. All right? And, I mean, this wouldn't even help because my level 2 was acting dumb anyways. All right? But I should have been in around... Sometimes with the DAS platform... When, when we're into the open, the ask price, the, the bid price is sometimes above the ask price. And it's kind of like a glitch. I'm not sure why it happens, but yeah. You can see I should have been in around 30, right? And these stocks move fast, I tell you, man. Right here, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, I got to punch it. Punch, I should have been in. See, there's a 3,000 share seller here. Should have been in at 30. I should have been in at 30 max. Max. I should have been in a 30. There's 50. And this is where it comes down on me. I uh I I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna work. I thought this was gonna go to 15, so I did not hit the sell button here. And you can see even even the bids are still having a hard the bids are at 30, so this would have been a tough one to make money on unless I'm selling on the ask. And I'm like, yes, you know, look, look, at, look at that. You see this? It, it gave me the fill that I, I actually was looking for, you know. This is the thing with Thinkorswim. And I've had this work for me and against me, right? There's been days where I bought and you see exactly where I should have been filled. It fills me. And there's been days where I bought and it should have filled me at this type of price. But instead I get filled at like 1460 and that's a problem. Sometimes, let's say it does go all the way to 15, 1520. Before you know, you're filled at 1520 when you should have been in at 1430. So what also works and doesn't work, right? Sometimes let's let's say this did go up higher and it went to 15, let's say 1490, and I sold. If I would have hit the sell button with a tight spread of like let's say 90 by like uh, you know, let's say the bids might have been like at 88. It, despite it not showing here, it should have filled me there and I should have already been out of the trade. I, I And technically, I'm green. And it's like a 50-50 type of a thing, which is why, of course, we want to stay away from this period, this point in time anyways, right? But still, for those of you um, who do have think or swim, who do consider taking the trades, you know, this way you guys get to see what happens, you get to know. And then 50% of the times... It fills you randomly higher up or lower down, and and, and it's it's not worth it. So after this loss, there is no way I'm gonna try it again. And you can see right here, I'm selling at 14, and I'm gonna get the fill around 14. Although it seems like I didn't have much lag getting out, it was more so lag going in. Yeah, disaster. So it was, I, I guess, ultimately. I didn't sell, so it was, it's my fault because I, you know, maybe if I would have sold up there, it would have filled me higher, 50% chance. Um, but I was too aggressive. And this is the thing with the open that makes it difficult: is that the stock can look so good one moment, you know, 16, 14, 16, and then in the next second, there's 14 on the bids. So ultimately, it was a good trade. Uh, looking back at it, but the lag getting in was definitely not good. You know, look. Let's look at it again, and then we'll move on. I bought. You get. Where's the fill? We're already at 60, 50, 50, 60. I I don't see a fill. Yeah. So once again, on the back side of Think or Swim, I've already been filled. 50% chance. 50% chance. And uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna explain that, right? I'm not gonna get back into it again. But yeah. So that's how the day started.
and then we switched over quickly. I did take some trades off screen, and I'm, I, I forgot to pose the other monitor. I, I forgot. I completely forgot. Uh, but anyhow, so I was up 258 before pulling this thing up. And to be honest, I didn't do too well in this area. I must have lost like $200 in this area here already. So, you know, kind of trying but not really getting to see the follow through. And so when it gets up, and I think that's what happened to me. I, ch I started churning, right? So I'm like, okay, let's not be overly aggressive. Let's use 1,500 shares for break of five. Right, break of five is coming. Hold on. By the way, 95. It was obvious 95 was the level. All right, so let's watch this. Can we get over 95? You can see how it's having somebody selling right there. Boom! It breaks. I'm in. I'm out. And this is a problem, right? I need to just. This is this is what I have to do. This is a cheap stock, all right, and, and this is what this. It, I think this is just the, the only way I need to look at it. The issue is that I've been having a hard time retaining my earnings the last couple of months, right? So at times I start to think, let me protect what I have on the day and not go overboard. But I think the better way to look at it is to be fearless and let's see what we can add up on to this day without worrying about losing right because and like you know you guys can let me know down below which one which one makes more sense like i try to have a good balance of it but when i'm too conservative i don't maximize and i feel like i, I never feel like i did a good job I, I don't feel fulfilled because you know i could send like right here when you, you see a 7500 or I think even like 12,000 here. I want to believe I bought, I mean, let's see, did I, you know, let's just go check, 937. Did I buy twice in some of the areas, right, with 2,500 shares? 937 and earlier, let's see. Uh, well, actually, okay, well, yeah, I did. Let's see. You see, and, 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 and hold up, hold up. This is the, this is the issue that I have with myself. You see this? 5,000 shares at 95 the first. I'm in at 93. I added 96. This is the very first time it's coming up. And this is off screen. And when this doesn't work, I'm like, okay, be careful. It did pull. It pulled back quick. It pulled back hard and it pulled back quick. I think I sold at 96 and like a second later it hit 82. I, I want to believe. In fact, uh... In fact, we can pull this up. Um, do I have anything on the screen that I... Let me hold on. I'll be back. Hold on. Give me a second. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing here to, to, that, I, that I have to worry about. Um, I don't know if there's... Um, I don't know if there's... If I recorded it on time, yeah, I didn't because I forgot. Part of what happens is that I forgot to up, I forgot to record this screen earlier, so I missed out on the trades. Yeah, I missed out on the trade. Yeah, I missed out on the early. So I don't even know if it's worth uploading that. Um, I missed out on the earlier trades, but anyhow, the point is, I tried to get aggressive, and I didn't give the follow through. So it needed. This is where it needed to pull back. Nine thirty-five. Right. 9.35, let's come on over, 9.35 was right here, so we had a high of 97, I sold, so I, I sold the very, the very highest candle, it pulls back right here to a low of 83, and I believe it was a quick pullback, but this is, this is where I have to remember, RT, it's not time to get afraid, it's not time to size down, because now I, I, I do myself a disservice, Instead of being in at 95 again with 5,000, I'm only in it with 1,500. So let's do the math. All right, let's pull out the calculator. Uh, 1,500 times 0 0.15 is 225. 5,000 times 0 0.15 is 750. 
it's a it's three times the three times the winning position I would have had, and uh, you know I didn't have to work overtime. I didn't have to work sixty hours extra. All I had to do was put an extra zero and buy twice. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of you know this conservative side of me and worrying about giving back and also when to be aggressive and like this was the time to be aggressive. You know, so I did a disservice to myself by not being a you know ultimately and you know the, the loss has happened you know what the same stock break of three on Friday I was up three I was up 310 315 and I had a loss where was it right here I had a loss on this same candle right here right it rips up to four to to to, to three the bids open up to, to eight cents I'm like if this flushes I'm doomed I had to sell 5,000 shares took a $400 loss from green 310 to now red 70 and it rips and balance if I'm gonna take that trade and have a loser I need to take it here again and, and then have the winner you know with that e equivalent size All right so that was the only thing I was disappointed with uh, and let's talk about why sizing is also important because I'm taking these trades through thinkorswim where I don't ha I do not have designated hotkeys right like some people might have hotkeys where it's like hey shift shift one two thousand shares shift two well let's say shift one one thousand shift two two thousand shift three three thousand for me I have to come to the active trader uh, ladder and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to just trade with das full out right but because of the active trader ladder starting to use it to, to use that ended up not switching over to das completely connection issues is always still something but with das i'd be able to have those hotkeys right but right here i don't and look at what happens as i take this trade so i'm in i'm out i know i'm selling around 515 and as I'm selling, I turn my eyes away from the level two to now go to bigger size. And I can prep better. I need to be more prepared for these situations. This is what I can do, right? If I come over to Thinkorswim, what I can do is I can buy and, and actually, well, I don't know if we should do this because, you know, they're charging us per trade these days. But yeah, if I buy with 1500 I can hover to 2500 instead of hovering the flatten button if i know i want to take more size i might i might want to take more size i need to hover this because i don't really need this flatten button to be honest like i can sell like if i buy twice if i buy twice right if i buy twice i can sell twice with my hotkey but usually when i buy twice i'll click flatten because it sells the aggregate it sells the entire position and it's one out versus sell sell because at times when you do hit sell sell although it's like a millisecond that second position could have slippage so I usually flatten and sell the entire thing at once on the market but in a situation like this I need to be thinking ahead and I need to be recognizing that I might need size because I'm, I'm telling you guys this stuff man I'm telling you guys this stuff with 100% transparency. The only reason I did not buy twice is because I looked away from the level two and I lost data. I lost data and it's a risk, right? I, I mean, buying here in itself is a risk. All right, here we go, right? Boom, I'm out. Move my eyes away, select 2,500, and I also put it back on flatten. That is That, took, that takes time, right? So I'm missing data. I don't know if there's a seller, or not but I'm, I'm just strictly gonna take this I'm gonna strictly take this trade right here off of previous stocks doing something similar and now it's holding 510 where do I want my entry to be 510 so once I look back at it and I see 510 so I'm looking back right here here's 510 I'm gonna give it a second and I'm gonna buy All right here, well okay there's there it is there's the buy but if I have 2,500 shares and I see that, like I see the entire story of how it plays out, I would have probably went long 7,500 shares right there. 
I would have probably went long 7,500 shares. And, and watch, moving forward, I'm going to make sure I don't look away. And you guys will see. You guys will see it. Whether it's a winning trade or a losing trade, doesn't matter. Right? Because once the market is hot, we'll see follow through. So I just took one position. It, I should have been in 5,000. It should have been two 5,000 share positions. It's, it's a little disappointing. But okay, okay I'm not going to beat myself up too much. I'm in. And I, can we see 15, 8, 518, 520, maybe 525. Look at this. And I was, I was ready to let this work because I realized it was strong. Boom. I don't have to take it off until it goes into that halt. I'm in. Boom. 27 exit. I checked it already. 27 exit right there. And then it does get halted. And watch this resumption. This, I think, is more fair. I told myself, okay, you're up 800 on a day. If you if you do use 2,500 right here, and this is why you need to have all your trades, you know, when a stock is hot and moving well, the more of your trades you can get with that high size, the more comfortable you, you'll, you'll feel using that same big size on even halts, right? But I only had one, share, one trade with my full size. So all the other trades that I missed out on in there, you know, I'm, I'm not as green as I should be. We should have already been over, you know, like, like 1,400 already, 1,500, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll use 1,500 shares just if in case we have a loss. More than likely, we're not going to go back to zero or red. Because with 2,500 shares, 10 cents is 250. If this, if I take a bad loss in this resumption, I can easily be flat or even red. With 1,500 shares, I'd have to lose 50 cents to essentially be flat on the day, right? Watch this right here, break of 50. Look at the resumption, we're halted at 537. We resume sideways, essentially. We resume sideways and it grips a little higher. There's 50. Can we break 50? You see how it's you see how it's holding high? And there's a buyer down here, 35, 18,000 shares. Any sign of green and I'm in. Green, I'm in. And look at how fast and instant this is. By the way, I had 538 listed as potential resistance, being that it came back down into the level. So all of this pre-market analysis, you can see it works, right? It works. It resumes. And we can check to see where it resumed. Uh, I said this was going to be a fast. Um, I said this was going to be a fast recap. Let's see. Uh, opened at four. Let's check E Trade. F N G R. E Trade's halts are more obvious. So I think it was right here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Okay, right here. Opened at. 510 oh, wait, wait, wait. what am I looking at man what time what what time was this uh what time was this at 43 943 why does the charting look like this or, is, or am I going crazy 43 it opened at okay yeah 37 I was I don't know what in the world I was looking at yeah so we opened up essentially sideways right we open up sideways, well, seven cents higher. Seven cents higher, right below this resistance, this blue line. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. I would say maybe not. And it, it breaks out, it pulls back. And where's this buyer? At 35, right, right back into support, right? But I still wait for green. I'm not as aggressive, so there's some green. I'm in, and you see how, like, like butter, like butter. Now the, the issue right here is if you're slow, if you if you are if you hesitated, if you second guessed, if like like how I did on that trade I showed, if I had only had done that I would have been in at 72 and I would have, it would have been a ruined I would have ruined the trade. If you, if you only hesitate, it's too late. If you blink you'll miss it. If you blink you'll miss it. Boom, boom, just like that, man. Lovely. And then I gave back profits after this resumption. After this resumption, 
this oh look at this this is this is also worth mentioning look at this trade right so watch this resumption this was close man we resume we're halted at 591 we resume sideways again sideways resumption can we go can we rip there's 620 how well can we hold the whole dollar yeah, it was holding here for a fair amount of time, but then it pulls back. It, 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 you know, 98, we jump back to 601. Then 92, this is a high risk buy. And immediately when I took it, I realized, no, 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 no. Because it needed to hold higher, whether, let's say, 599, 598, like it didn't bounce back immediately, or 6, 601, 602, and then take off. As I bought, I said, no, I'm being too aggressive. I'm essentially forcing it. And I sold almost right away. You see this? This is so close. I should have never been in this trade. I should have never been in this trade. But well, watch this. Just like how I had that winner. Look at this. Look at what, what type of a loss this could have been. In at 91, watch this. 75, 62, 55, 51. I could have easily had a anywhere from a 25 to a 40 cent loss in the blink of an eye. And that's why we got to be careful. We have to manage risk. We have to trade smart. And this was this was just me this was doing a little too much. I'm lucky to be out at 91. Lucky. If I if I only hold one half second later, I'm up 400, 500, you know, the lot the gains would vanish. And this is the thing, it's a, it's a good way to help mitigate risk because if I use 2,500 shares and I do lose 50 cents, I'm, I'm, on, I'm at zero or even red on the day. And it's why I'm saying, unless I was using 2,500 shares and connecting earlier and been more green, then it would have made sense. Because if I'm up, if I'm up, um, let's pull up the calculator, right? What's half of uh, 2,500, right? 2500 uh, times 0.5 is 1250 right half of 2500 is 1250 so if if I'm if I'm up 1200 right now and I take a 50 cent loss which is very common on resumptions if, if it goes the wrong way I'm flat on the day at this point I can't I can't allow myself to go flat on the day being up 200 and then flat on the day is very different from 1200 and then flat on the day so that's why I used 1500 1500 and we could do the other way here divided by 2 is 750 so if I did take that loss I would have been down about you know let's say let's say 650 right so 1200 you know minus 650 is another half at least you're still green 550 on the day and I think that's how I need to do it right at the end of the day, in a, like, and, and you know, it comes down to context of hot market. If, if I'm in a hot market, two hundred dollars is just break even. You know, it's that's break even. But in a slow market, two hundred fifty dollars is a great day. You know, so like, what are what, what market are we seeing right now? Like tomorrow, if I come with full size, like from the start, like you know, three k shares, thirty five hundred shares, being down three hundred means nothing. But are we going to see this type of momentum for me to potentially be green thousands of dollars, you know? So I might come full size and then we'll see how it goes. Um, if there's momentum, we will do very well. If there's if the momentum sucks, we'll probably have a big red day. You know, assuming if we, we try hard and there's nothing. Because it just takes a few losses with a big size and it's, you know, just like that, you're not looking good. Even some small losses can add up. So, yeah, that was the day. We gave back profits on the backside. And um, that was about it. Uh, where's the backside? Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Uh, after it dipped down. And I, I, saw, I saw dips at like 5.30, 5.20. If you guys watch the live stream, but... Just not confident enough to take them. I, I was trying to get the breakouts. Right on this last breakout, I'm like, okay, can we break over 60? Or 50, I think. I think break of 50. 
it, it absolutely rips right here. It might have been 60. I don't know. 50? There's 50. Well, well, I, I don't remember. What time was it? 53. I don't know if I was watching for the one minute candle to make the new high. But I think I was watching 60. And it rips to 70. Yeah, I was watching 60. It rips to 78. Almost 80. And as it dips to 60 here, I'm going to take it. Because I thought it was going to hold and retake 80 for uh, a red to green. So I'm in at 65, 66. It's not going to work. I'm going to take losses right here. And I took a similar trade here. And then I think that was the last one. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the recap. Uh, we're pushing 35 minutes. Yeah, which is more than long enough. So hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Let me know how this new webcam is looking. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, check out the links down below. It's been RT, and I am, of course, signing out.